We met during these two days at the University of Aarhus to have the very first test on the industrial dialogue on precision medicine. This was the very first test of a format that uh, SmartMap has developed during these previous months. Uh, and it's a very complex format that is meant to facilitate the co-creation of a concrete tool that we are going to propose to industry at the end of the project. We had uh, 20 different participants from three different stakeholder groups, civil society organizations, industry and industry associations, and regulators, policymakers, and funders from mostly from Denmark. The first day uh, started with an introduction uh, on the field of precision medicine from a scientific point of view, but also in order to identify the revolution that healthcare is going through. Uh, following this introduction, participants interviewed each other in order to discuss what their point of view from their respective experience was in terms of challenges, needs and opportunities in the field. And following this session, we try to collect these experiences that emerged during the interviews and have breakout session where a uh, homogeneous group by stakeholder uh, group identified in cards uh, the needs, challenges and opportunities. This session was followed by another plenary session where we identified the overlaps between these needs, challenges and opportunities in a session that clustered uh, what the different breakout groups uh, produced uh, from their discussion. And this was a very nice way to stimulate the following breakout session where instead we mixed uh, people in the uh, separate groups according to their different stakeholder uh, identification. And these groups uh, started with a brainstorming to identify what kind of proposals we could uh, formulate in order to address uh, these needs and challenges that were, uh, have been identified in the previous sessions. And this was followed by what we call the fast prototyping session that was very important in order to flash out uh, different kind of tools that we might propose for industry to adopt. It was very nice to see that there were plenty of ideas that could be taken up on the second day. The second day started with a quite of a challenge. We had a gallery walk, people reviewed the ideas that they produced on the first day. And then we had a vote to rank those potential tools with a greater potential of being either adopted by industry or with a greater impact on, on society and on the potential adoption of, uh, of RRI. And the people continued on this idea by uh, developing a physical prototype uh, and this is the final result uh, of this meeting. Each of the groups developed a um, a prototype for a specific concept that could be a tool for industry to use to implement responsible research innovation uh, in precision medicine. We were told in the workshop to produce something of uh, kind of a physical nature, so uh, this is what I've done. People can see much more complexity than we imagine. They can see the whole system for what it is, and they can see that the tools that industry can adopt do not live in a bubble alone. I think it's really important to uh, be present here as an industry representative and also listen to uh, the other sides and the other stakeholders like political organizations or intermediaries and understand a little bit better how together we can actually um, move RRI forward. 